I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on, got to hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about my most complimented feminine perfumes but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is also don't forget to follow me on instagram i will leave my qr code on the screen and you can just hit the follow button that would mean so much to me right let's get on with today's video in yesterday's video i actually forgot to share my harrods advent calendar so this is the 2024 <laughs> very much sought after advent calendar and i've got it right here luckily for me i was able to get this um, advent calendar there was a lot of palaver over this um, advent calendar because so many people ordered it and then we got like an email saying that the order hasn't gone gone through and a refund has been processed but that happened to be a glitch there was a glitch on their system and you had to reorder and anyway i have the perfumes here in my hand if you follow me on instagram you've already seen the first day of the advent calendar but i'll share it here anyway you can see all the perfumes are here which is super helpful so i already know what day one is and day one is Oriana by Parfums de Mali. This came in at the perfect time because I was already running out of my Oriana. If you are familiar with this perfume, you know this is a super fresh, creamy, just an amazing gourmand scent that resembles Love Don't Be Shy, but they are not the same. I find this to be maybe more crowd pleasing than Love Don't Be Shy. You get notes of orange blossom, you have vanilla, you have chantilly cream, you have bergamot you have so many so many beautiful notes in this perfume it opens up citrusy and it dries down to the most sweetest and addictive perfume i'm so so obsessed with this it's a feminine scent in my opinion and i just really really love it so that would actually be the first perfume on the list i have maybe about 20 mil left so with this, this is 30 mil, 20 mil, 50 mil. I think I should be good for a few months because this is a perfume I never want to be without. So that is Oriana by Performs the Mali. So day two of my advent calendar. Let me just show you here. This is day two. I already know there are two perfumes in here because I just, I just did the reel. Um, the first one is The Tiniest Guidance by Amouage. This is a 5 ml from what I can see or 7.5. Now you guys already know this perfume is a masterpiece. I have a full bottle thankfully. This will serve as my travel size. A little goes along with this perfume. The only thing I don't like about this bottle is that it's not a sprayer. You can just splash it onto your skin. So I would definitely be trying to open this, jeez. But as you can see, it doesn't have a sprayer, but this is fine oh this perfume is so delightful it's a really complex scent it has some nuttiness some florals some sweetness some sourness this perfume is really really amazing i need to do a dedicated video to this perfume because i do those kind of um, videos when a perfume has really blown me away so if you see a single review of a perfume just know that i'm so obsessed with it and guidance is such an amazing scent i find it to be very feminine one of my most complimented perfume in my collection i love it the next perfume in the advent calendar is amouage reflection man i have no interest in this perfume i'm just going to give it to my husband i've smelled this before a while ago and i remember it to be like a woody um like a woody floral for men it's a nice scent again i have no interest as i won't be wearing this but at least i can give it to my husband who hopefully likes it if not i will just keep it i will keep it for someone that likes it so that is the amouage reflection man okay so let's carry on with the list the next perfume on my list is bdk's rouge smoking i love this this reminds me of a creamy dr pepper almost like dr pepper and ice cream i love this perfume i tried the extract a few days ago and i just don't know what to make of it yet i think i'm gonna go back and try again to see if it's something that i want to own it does have the dna of bdk's well the original but it was a lot more 
it was less cherry less sweet and maybe a little bit more like smoky spicy i don't know what to make of it to be honest one thing i will say is don't go blind buying it because you may just be disappointed um i did try it for a bit i let it sit on my skin for a while and i just couldn't make up my mind if it was like a love or if it's something that's going to grow on me so i will go back to selfridges so i'll have a sniff again but ultimately if you like the scent of this don't rush and buy the extra or is it the intense don't rush and buy it definitely smell it before you buy i love this perfume i find longevity to be average i find it to be the most complimented cherry perfume in my entire collection people love this perfume again it's one that i find to be feminine not saying that other people can't wear it if you're a masculine person or a feminine whoever it is can wear whatever they want but for me i find it to be one of the most feminine and beautiful perfume in my collection so that is rude smoking by bdk the next perfume is peregrine Athamine. this is one of my favorite perfume in my entire collection this is a floral caramel scent this has a beautiful note of rose it has caramel it has vanilla it's such a perfect perfume that i can never ever be without it's fantastic on its own but if you can if you can get the body lotion guys trust and believe you would love this perfume layer them together they give you immense longevity i'm talking 18 hours plus on its own nine hours plus no problem this perfume does not have any issues with performance with projection with sillage compliments galore this perfume is so beautiful i absolutely love it so that is peregrina by thamine next we have young bougie marshmallow by kayali this perfume is absolutely divine i truly find this to be one of the best kayalis ever um this is a very fluffy whipped cream feeling type scent it's very airy it's very bright it's very sweet it's got a little bit of coconut it gives me like a creamy like tonic type vibe but not too much it has the notes at the back freesia strawberry pink marshmallow creamy coconut whipped vanilla and pink musk now the musk is very very subtle on my skin which i love this perfume is just perfection the longevity is average this is not beast mold perfume but you can layer it for a better longevity i've layered this with vanilla 28 i've layered this with sweet diamond pink pepper i've layered this with vanilla oud i've layered this with almost every single kayali in my collection apart from vanilla royal sugar patchouli i just don't know if they will go together i may try that combination but all of the other Kealis in my collection work really, really well with this perfume. And I am personally obsessed with it. So that is Kealis Yum Bougie Marshmallow 81. The next perfume is L by Fragrance World. I love this bottle. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful packaging. This perfume is basically a white floral with a lot of citruses i've had this in my collection for a while i just haven't spoken about it because when i had it in my collection i it was coming to the beginning of autumn and this is not an autumn winter scent this will fleet <laughs> during this time of the year so i am saving this for the spring summer i find it to have like average longevity this is not a super beast mode scent but it's very pleasant to smell it's very easy on the nose it's perfect for daily wear but for the spring and summer months the next perfume is pink me up by atelier des Ours. this bottle is everything everything and more it's got gold flakes inside of it this is one of my favorite perfumes ever now this is rose and champagne this is a very sparkling type of rose this is another one that is great for spring summer i will still wear this during this time of the year like why not i may have to overspray but i will wear this perfume whenever i feel like it it gives me a very happy vibe it makes me happy it makes me feel fresh it makes me feel feminine it makes me feel amazing in. i absolutely love it yes it's a little bit pricey but i feel like it's one of those perfumes that's worth the price and worth the hype so that is pink me up by atelier des Ours. next we have a trap revs by louis vuitton i bought this perfume last year and the way this perfume came packaged mm, i was so blown away by it i will say this if you wanted to get any louis vuitton perfumes 
order it online when you go in store they just give you the box they give you it's not the experience is not the same but when you order it online you get a ton of samples first of all and you get this in the most beautiful louis vuitton package now this perfume to me it's a fruity floral it has lychee a sweet lychee it has rose it has cacao it has patchouli it is divine longevity again it's not like beast mode or anything like that but i feel like people will still smell you like you can wear this perfume all day and it will still smell it may become like a skin scent after i don't know six hours but after six hours you can always reapply and just you know keep it going this is perfect for date night in the spring and summer this is great for everyday wear although i would not wear this every day because i would not want this perfume to finish aside from that it's a perfect signature scent it smells very elegant it smells very feminine and it smells really beautiful so that is a trap revs by louis vuitton the next perfume is valentino pink pp this is oh this is so amazing it's a flanker to donna bonnie roma which i love no which i like i like that perfume a lot but i love this one this does smell similar to oriana um it has notes of mandarin orange bourbon vanilla and orange blossom this is amazing it has great longevity it's perfect for all year round it's such a feminine sweet delectable perfume like no one is going to dislike this perfume it was meant to be a limited edition i think but you can still buy this i got mine from selfridges and if you guys don't know selfridges has really good um shipment to america to canada just go on their website they have really really good deals for shipping and their prices are a lot more affordable from what i've been told in comparison to if you were to get it elsewhere it's another one that is really good for everyday wear signature scent worthy perfect for going to work matter of fact i might wear this to work tomorrow and it also gets me a lot of compliments so that is valentino pink pp the next perfume is Rose Sherry by Guerlain. I love this. I had this perfume engraved for me because I am so in love with this perfume because it was one of the first few perfumes that I smelled by Guerlain that I instantly fell in love with. I love Guerlain. I think one of my first perfume insolence um, was by Guerlain and I still wear that perfume to this day. This one is really, really special. This is... A ton of rose it's quite powdery it's quite musky but ultimately this is a young rose this feels like a young princess like a a young and almost pure like kind of um, person that would wear this perfume this is great for anybody that loves rose but you want your rose to be elevated you want your rose to be very luxurious you want it to smell super inviting and this when i tell you this perfume gets me a ton of compliments so that is rose sherry by Guerlain. last but not least is liquid love by ten halligans i have not reached for this perfume in quite a while and i don't know why it has the most amazing note of ginger the ginger here just gives you a little zing you get pink pepper you get turmeric you get some rose some hazelnut some musk cashmere and also sandalwood but ultimately what i get from this perfume it's a warm spicy and musky rose it's a very full bodied it's very beautiful it's very feminine there's a feeling of calmness when i sniff on this perfume there's a feeling of just effortless beauty that springs to mind when i sniff this perfume and yes i am biased to the brand i cannot help it but the name is very fitting to the way this perfume smells so that is liquid love by pen halligans so my lovelies that is it for today's video if i had to pick a top three out of this list these are the ones i'll go for okay so that was really hard um but i'm gonna go for rose sherry followed by yon bougie this is my new obsession i can't help it and last but not least peregrina so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching i may or may not have a video out tomorrow please bear with me i am doing my best this vlogmas fragmas thing it's really really difficult i i give credit to those ladies that have done it for so many years 
this is my first time doing it and it's a lot of work but i do hope you guys are enjoying the content um comment down below if there's anything you want to see i will have a proper vlog out i just don't know when but i'm currently editing um a few bits and pieces because i've been to a few events so i would like to put it all together in a vlog so kindly bear with me that is coming very very soon but yeah let me know what your favorite perfume is from my list and also let me know what is the most feminine perfume in your collection thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye